Hey, hey, I'm here for a checkup from the neck up to see what's going on in the energies around us today, wherever you are. Thank you for tuning in and joining. I'm glad to have you here. Consider subscribing to the channel, and if you'd like to know any time I post new videos, click the bell out beside it. While you're here, if you enjoy these, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, okay, and share with your friends and loved ones. So first of all, it's letting me know there's two sides to every story. Okay, we've got some um, retrograde going on, and that's more of what it's, it's hinting to, is that previously what you've gone through, literally it crushed you and um, put you, in a sense, at a disadvantage. But, however, it has made you stronger, and that is what we're choosing to focus on here. It's made you stronger, and when you come out of the dark, you will be entering into the light with great ideas, fresh perspective, and definitely with a strong victory. This is a victory of choice. This is a victory of turning things around and changing things here. Do you see the facets in your perspective? What was once plain is now... Mm, sharpened in home by perspective. It has been taken through the the grinder, the um, the image shaper is what they're saying. So let me take a peek at a card over here. Got the energy oracle. We'll see what we got going on with us in regards to this light coming on. Hang on, they're struggling. They struggling. Okay, we got a couple of cards that came out. Two came together and one is what forced it out. This forced it out, number 39. It's letting me know creative changes on the front for you, Archangel Gabriel. And what he's letting me know here is this vocalization that he's talking about is not one that is heard is one that is perceived people will begin to see this change in you this change in the world around you like the spring in your step when you realize that you're no longer just crushed but you have become mighty and strong you hold your head up you lengthen and you strengthen and you press into this energy just like the victory card here you display it gladly and from that you begin to flow you begin to be unbound boundless. You see her? She's been tied up, relegated to the dark, and this, the healer of the ages, has come to set you free, to open the arms. How interesting. How interesting. 51 and 23. Major manifestation of creative union. Okay, so I'm going to stack those over here. I'll get another line strider. This is the line strider tarot deck. Um, I like how they, thank you, they just kind of float on the page here. So we have the Knight of Pentacles. And this Knight is bringing in an abundance of life. It is, um, I love it, there's a Van Morrison song and it says, And we'll walk and talk in gardens all wet with rain. That's how you want a garden. It's nature has taken its course. It's taking care of it. It's not a struggle, nor is it um, tremendous effort. It's something very natural. And that's what this night is bringing in, is bringing in your nature, restoring your nature, that you are no longer confined to this one page. You see, you've, you've stepped forward, and you're beginning to make progress in seeing yourself, remembering yourself for who you are, bringing yourself collectively back together. Let's see, uh, we're going to use some affirmators here. That's this deck. Let's get a couple of cards about this nature, this new life coming in for us. Get one more. Flesh this out for us, please, spirit. Hang on. Those two are stuck. Just a second. All right, the first two, they're coming in pairs is what I see, which would make total sense because that is what you were freed up from here is having been bound to be left out. 
part. I had to figure out how they were trying to turn that into words. Um, having been bound to always being left out, you were created as a pair. You were created as a unit. These are coming out to talk together. We have 9 and 21, the hermit and the world. Right? You carry your world with you. Can you see? Can you see? You're um, really mastering what it is to disclose information. Also, to speak without speaking. To live in your truth. To walk in your truth. To be who you really are. To... Um, that amness, that that state of I am, of knowing who you are. That's you're the star, okay? And you carry that with you. You've brought it down here to earth, which is why you not only survived these crushing circumstances that you went through, but you are, of course, thriving. That's what the strengthening is. But you're coming out on top. You're coming out free. When you come out free, it is your story and you have permission to do with it what you will. Hopefully using it for the greater good and for the benefit of all, including yourself. We are part of this story as well. And it's not just to be the transformer or the energy or the patience or the work, but to be the individual who enjoys the fruits of their labor. You know, like this, this garden coming in, this garden all wet with rain. And as we see it hearkening to here the partnership and the union that's coming in the next set of cards oh that's hilarious is number six the lovers and number four of the wands fantastic okay it's like they're saying do a double take life is doing a double dance which makes sense because there's the two sides to every story no longer being left out getting to be a part of your own magnificent life Getting to delight in who you are, to enjoy it, to not have to relegate it to the um, submission to the power of another. But it's it's being like co-equals, co-heirs, like seeing things eye to eye, looking in the mirror and, and witnessing your own genuine reflection. Being able to taste of the recipe that you crafted and created and enjoying the pleasure along with everyone beside you. Joining in on your world. Okay. Divine Animal Oracle on this. No, 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 no. It's a new deck. I've used it several times, but there's like three or four cards that want to speak. And I'm like, let's let's give us some truth on this. Some credit let's um let's get a divine animal for the hermit in the world. Whoa. We're gonna keep rolling for a second. There it is. Hang on. Okay, that was the pair that jumped there. And then that's okay. So we have stability, we have the sea turtle. Resting in your power. Oh, Y'all, crazy here day. Um, resting in your power and really lear learning to. Um, it's not the diving deep anymore. It's letting your weight carry you, which would make sense in this card of Gabriel, letting your reputation, your weight, your actions, your decisions show who you are. It's like you're kind of tired of spinning your breath. You're ready to be through wasting your breath. Yeah, because I definitely see throat chakra here, and that was the chakra that had been blocked. You're willing to see what you say and say what you see, which would make sense about the world and the hermit. You want to see the world that lives inside you, outside of you, going on around you. You want to be surrounded by delightful people who rejoice in other people's successes and victories. You want to um, partner up with people who have integrity and who apply themselves to what they say they're going to do. They follow through with their promises and commitments and they press in when things get tough and they come together and they communicate in order to move forward in union. This is work, friendship, um, companionship, otherwise. And then uh, for the Four of Wands and the Lovers, aren't they cute? These are fantastic. There's a lot of um, effervescent energy going on here. And we have the Watcher, the Snow Leopard. And you can see you're exuding this charisma, this charm, this magnetism. 
Um, I did come across a little nugget earlier. I have breadcrumb trails everywhere, all these bits that come, and I jot them down, and when I come back across them, they're reawakened. And it was talking about um, that when you're attracted, when you're effervescing, you're, you're bubbling up, life is really you know, titillating you and exciting you, that that makes you attractive. It draws more of that like energy towards you. And you're saying that's very Knight of Pentacles. That's the life that you're talking about here. Life drawing life. Stillness speaks to stillness. I don't know who that's for, but you'll hear it ring like a bell. Um, and along with the Healer of Ages and the All Tied Up, remember them? This being came to set you free. This is a gateway going on right here, and it's very much reiterating this card, like the open arms. Um, being open to receiving all that you're here for and no longer hemming yourself in. Being open to the possibility of greatness, okay? And being comfortable with being uncomfortable about that. You're just uncomfortable because it's new. Just like new shoes when you put them on, they might be right and you know they're the right size and you know they're not going to hurt your feet eventually. But they're a little bit stiff, a little bit constraining in the beginning. And that's the kind of energy that we're talking about here. And so another animal oracle one to come out with it. And it's number four, Wisdom the Owl. It says, take heart, this is your new home. This is your new dwelling. This is your new you. You have transformed. The old has been shed. It is passed away. It is no longer there anymore. That page is written. The end. And the story is over. And now is coming in a new day, in a new way. They've been saying that a lot. And they're like, you know, snapping when they say it. New day, new way, new day, new way. Let the people know. Let them know. So I want to encourage you there and to get you stirred up and excited about um, this bubbling up, this effervescing, this this charisma, this magnetism. Don't, um, why they say that when I sit at this counter? Um, embrace what this draws towards you. Embrace the attention, because that might be what you're a little uncomfortable with, because before when attention came, it was negative attention. It was something that was going to lead to harm or being put out, or um, you're saying, or this, hello, <laughs> robbed and then left tied up, right? Um, so since we're going to stir it up, these are, hey, 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 hang on. These are tea leaf. Okay, let's get some to... Let us know what's going on here. A couple more, please. Whoa! All right. Okay, you're going to make quick work of this. We have the horse coming in, and the horse to me is indicative of power. You are now standing in your power, in your authority, going, hey, Joy, just lit the fuse. It's time to rock and roll. It's time to go on this. I knew I was somebody. Yes, you are. You are somebody, you're amazing and fantastic. And if nobody's told you, I am glad you are here. Somebody birthed you into this world and you've been carrying life out ever since. Be good to yourself. Be supportive of yourself. And most of all, encourage and love yourself, okay? Be as good to you as you are to others. Got me? And from there we have the crib. Ah, conception of a child or a new enterprise. And to me, it's the birth of this new idea that you included so much of this life kind of, it was relegated to this scale of like, you're either totally selfless and f totally focused on everyone else and total, total, total this direction, or you were completely on the self-help, self-directive, let's figure out how to better myself and, you know, I'm going to shed you because you're not in line and this and that line. That was very polarizing. And, and it's like taking this beautiful fruit tree and trimming off all the branches on every side aka no fruit. Now we're ready to have some fruit because you have roots here. And so that's that thing. Don't don't be going so quick and hot and heavy with those pruners. Leave those things there. But begin to notice the nourishment, the nurturing of what's going into your soil and what's passing through your energy fields. That's what you are to take note of because those were where some of these things crept in to bring you harm is 
it's like you um, blinded yourself to people's motives. Part of you was sensing it and picking up on it because you have some keen intuition in order to end up like this or to be this now. Now you transformed, but you know, it doesn't go from, you know, from a whale to a butterfly. That's not it. It's still in the same vein, still in the same nature, still in the same lineage. So you are of this energy and you need to give yourself the advantage of seeing things clearly. It's called judgment, not judging. Judging is when you condemn somebody and you put them in that pathway forever and ever, calling them a this and them a that. Instead of saying, here's what I see going on underneath the surface and being aware of what's going on in the energy around you, okay? From there, ooh, that gives you the key. Successful outcome to solving your problems. And so that key, I really see it here. I see it in your eyes. I see it in you giving yourself permission to tell yourself the truth to allow yourself to have the victory. And it's not throwing people away like they're wasted trash because you see some of this, these shenanigans and this, the like skullduggery. Why the guides like to use that word? I don't know, <laughs> but they do. Um, you see some of that stuff going on and it's like, no, step away from that because you are responsible for you. The only one you can make choices for in how to live, how to grow, the one you can feed is yourself. And that's the victory that we're bringing about and that will create this energy and is already, okay, in a few areas and, and we're just whisking it abroad in many areas of your life. It creates this living example of your truth, of your integrity, and that is what is going to draw in these other um, divine energies. It's beyond just beings of like people. It's energies. Energies are opportunities. Energies is alignment. Like you pull up at the right time, right when somebody's backing out of a space, you're like, what? Okay, thank you. Y'all love me. You see how that creates a whole new energy? It's a dynamic interplay of um, energies coming together. That's synergy, right? And it can be the hub and the bob of the hive of like that car moving or it could be um bumping into somebody you haven't seen in a while it could be you just start following a bent or an inclination to study new material and before you know it it weaves itself into your life and then an opportunity pops up can you see it's got a lot of dynamic to it and that's what they're wanting to they're saying like fluff it zhuzh it you know like stroke across it and and uh ring the chimes in your life and from there, this, I see it allaying and laying off dagger, fear, worries, intense situations. This begins to relieve this pressure, to release this energy, to set yourself free, to give you permission to be your awesome, delicious, wonderful self, to be delightful, to, um, you know what really makes it better is when the friend sitting across from me enjoys themselves as much as I do. Because if they're enjoying themselves, they're also allowing me and giving me this kind of like nonverbal permission to be my awesome self. And it opens up the energy of the interaction. And everyone has a good time because there's no competition going on there. It's absolute communion. It's, it's being able to hang together and share our energies and feed the pot, feed that energy between the, the people that are there. It's something not just from person to person. It's creating a whole new energy, a relationship, a dynamic that extends beyond any one of us, right? It's the magic. It's the beauty. It's the sparkle and the shine. So anyways, I'm glad you jumped in and joined me here. This is Joyce saying I love you all. Have a great day. Bye.